This video will show you a very basic charge of a LiPo battery using a Bantam charger. And the Bantam chargers, uh, the displays are kind of generic, so what goes for one usually goes for all of them. Um, the main thing I want to do is show you in this video is the hookup. Uh, the first thing you would do is plug your um, charging lead into the charger. Uh, always do that first because if you plug it into the battery first then uh, those two these uh, will be hot and if they touch each other they could arc well together and discharge the battery in a matter of seconds which would result in a fire. So the first thing you want to do is plug this in and hook it up to your battery then plug it, plunk, plug the uh, balancing lead into the appropriate port on the balancing connector. And if you have any uh, questions about which balancing board you need, just refer to my website. And once everything is hooked up as shown here, we're going to verify that it's set on LiPo mode, on balance charge, at two and a half amps because this is a 2500 milliamp battery pack. The most important thing is to confirm that the charger, no matter what kind of charger you have, is set on uh, the appropriate number of cells. This is a 3S battery. That's 3S. So once you get everything hooked up on this charger, is all you would do is press the uh, start button and hold it and it'll check the battery. It's showing that it's uh, 3S. Everything's good so we would just hit that uh, and the charge will start. And then the information that it shows is pretty typical on most chargers. Uh, this is showing that it's a LiPo 3S battery. Uh, the current that's going into the battery when that hits 2.5 it'll stop. Uh, the voltage of the battery, that's the total voltage. Uh, it's a, a, in the mode it's in, it's balanced. It's been on for 28 seconds and we put in 14 uh, milliamps. There's more information to be seen on the Bantam chargers. You can hit this button and it'll show you the voltage of the individual cells. Cell 1, cell 2, cell 3. And then cell 4 isn't there, so it'll show 0. And if you press that again, you'll go into uh, up to 8 cells. It'll show the voltage. Now, at this point, we would just wait for the charger to finish. And as the battery approaches its full capacity at 12.6 volts, the current will go down. So and when the charge is finished, uh, it's got a little buzzer, and it'll buzz, and then you can just unplug the battery and go fly. I hope this helps.